what's up? Kids are not home right now, and I know you're looking for some dynamic moves. So while all the toys are hanging out, waiting for them to come back home, I figured I'd shoot this quick video on how to get the shoulder and the scapula and actually the entire kinetic chain to move so you have less pain in the shoulder and more mobility throughout the body. So let's go. So you want to find a wall. You want to be close to the wall so that you could actually get range of motion. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your arm here, you're going to face the wall and you're going to slide the arm all the way up the wall. Okay. Slide it up and then slowly slide it down right here. So your, your shoulder is here, elbow is about there. So you could slide it up. You could also do a nice little crawl. So you can crawl for some people that feels even better. Get all the way up, get all the way up until your shoulder is almost elevated and then crawl it on down or slide it down, okay? And do that about 10 times each side. Another exercise you can do for your shoulders because we want good mobility is you want to lay down, eyes down, neck is neutral, and all I'm doing is I'm going to lift with my elbows bent so it doesn't go into my neck, and nice and slow bring it back down. All I'm doing is I'm mobilizing my scapula, I'm keeping my spine neutral. If you want to put a little towel down, you could, so your neck is completely relaxed. Unclench your glutes, and then drive your elbows slightly down your back, and then slowly release. So bring it up, Five counts, five, four, three, two, one, slowly release. Do that about 10 repetitions and then move on to the next one. So you're on all fours and I'm gonna put an emphasis on my left shoulder to start, but first make sure your spine is neutral. You always want a neutral spine. So I'm gonna rotate my elbow to face forward and then I'm gonna rotate it the other way. So rotation in a closed circuit, opening up the shoulder and really mobilizing through the shoulder in a closed chain movement. So I'll do about five to 10 of those on that side, and then I'm gonna do five to 10 on the other side. Eyes on the thumbs, neutral neck. Okay, so supine spinal twist with cactus arms. Make sure both shoulders are flush against the floor. My back, my palms are up against the floor. If you need to bring the floor up to your arms, simply put like a pad or something so that you're not like this if you're tight, but you're all the way back. You're gonna bring one foot up, bring the other foot up. You're gonna feel your core activating and you're gonna slowly rotate to the side and you're gonna keep those shoulders grounded. Take your gaze to the opposite direction and pause for a moment and then nice and slowly bring it through the center and you're gonna do the other side. I highly recommend you hold each side for about five counts, but just make sure you're breathing through this. You're keeping your shoulders engaged to the floor. You're rotating the full range of motion to the other direction with your eyes. You should feel a nice contralateral stretch. Hold it for five counts. If you wanna keep it more static, you can hold it even longer. Find a door frame, put your arms here. So your elbows are below your shoulders. You don't wanna be up here. Elbows are below your shoulders. You're gonna step through like a lunge. Make sure your neck is in the same plane as the upper back. And then look over to the leg that's forward. You could look down at the clavicle, look back, look forward, and then switch legs. So left foot comes forward. I'm gonna to look to my left. Look down at my left foot, look back to the left, look forward, and then bring it back. Get the whole chain. I'm all about the whole kinetic chain because everything's interconnected. So you don't want to treat things as independent structures because the body moves in synergy. Superheroes are one of my favorites. It's a total kinetic chain movement. Your eyes are on the ground. Let me flip my hair to the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg, hold for five counts. Hold it, so I'm pushing through that opposite hand. I'm reaching up, reaching up, reaching up, and then I'm bringing it back down. Other side, reach, 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 and other side. So I'm pointing my toes, my eyes remain on the ground, I'm not dropping my neck, I'm reaching that arm as high as I can. 
without hyperextending through my lower back. I'm lengthening through my fingertips and I'm lengthening through my toes, holding it for a full five counts so that my brain can connect to an isometric position. Really work on not rotating the body either. This is an amazing, amazing mobility drill for your shoulders. You're gonna take your palms to your back, so your thumb and your pointer finger will connect, okay? Start there, and then you're going to protract your shoulders, round and curl, and then turn the palms to face the sky like you're serving a platter, but you're doing what's called scapular retraction, and then you're dropping your arms down to scapular depression, and then bring your palms back. So you're starting here. So here's a posterior view. Round my shoulders forward, bring the arms all the way, scoop it back, palms facing the sky, drop the palms down, fingers towards the floor, scapular depression, and then bring it back. So I'll face you. Scapula protraction, tuck the chin, round and curl, bring it in, bring it down, and reset. All right, so one foot forward, one foot back. You're doing a low lunge. You're gonna take your left hand to the ground. Your right knee has to track forward, so you might need to pull the right knee in. You're lengthening through that back leg. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Push through that left hand. Reach up for the sky all the way up, up, up. Look where you're going and then bring it back down. So eyes on the toes. Inhale, push on that bottom hand, rotate through the trunk. Reach up, look up, push through the heel on that back foot. Bring that front knee in toward the midline of the body and then bring it back down and hold. So again, inhale the breath, reach up, keep the knee in toward the center. We don't want to abduct that knee and invert that foot. You want to keep that foot grounded, ground through that bottom hand, and then nice and slow, bring it back. Again, another total kinetic chain move where we're incorporating the shoulder to stabilize and mobilize the opposite shoulder. One thing to note is the body's a machine. It's an absolute machine. So we don't wanna limit ourselves to just isolate compartments like I said earlier. So do this regularly. There's so much you could do with the human body. So commit to this program, do it every day, get that kinetic chain moving. It's gonna help with other parts of your body and you're gonna notice less pain, more mobility, which will aid you much better. So enjoy and thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video, please, and share it with someone you love.